it's midnight right now. Welcome back to another vlog. I should be asleep because Jazz and I have to get up quite early tomorrow. I'm really excited because Jazz and I spoke to our editor on Zoom today. Basically, we might be having a YouTube editor, which means we're going to be posting a lot more on YouTube and I'm just like really excited. Like he's such a good editor as well. I just remembered if you watched our last vlog, at the end of the vlog, I was like, oh, we'll take you along to Mardi Gras. Like I might vlog my second date. I went on my second date and I didn't even vlog. But the date went really well. I stayed in a hotel with him for three nights. I planned two nights and then I was like, I don't want to go home. So like we booked another night and it was really nice. We went out for dinner, like watched a lot of movies, cuddled. It was just like perfect. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Renee's just getting out of bed. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I don't know why I just winked. That was really cringe. Also, what do you think of my jersey? Is that yours? Yeah. Did you buy it? It was $130. Whoa. Hey, this is a real jersey. Because I went to the soccer the other day. All right. We've just had our coffees and now we're in a rush because we have less than an hour to be ready. We're going to a Sephora event. It's really crazy because at this event, they give you the biggest gift bags, like over 40 brands. I'm speechless. So bad, Jess and I have been addicted to energy drinks lately and we're trying to get off it. Because we started drinking energy drinks when we were in the UK and it was like the best for jet lag. And then we've just been kind of hooked ever since because they are so good, like so bad. Uh, no energy drink today though, right Jess? No. no more. I need to buy some more Kosas concealer. I'm literally out, I'm like scraping the sides. I saw Anna Paul's TikTok and she was like, um, don't put concealer under your eyes because it like creases during the day and it looks like you're wearing a lot of makeup. And she's like, and then she says, bags are really cute. I thought that was really sweet Anna saying that. It does crease, hey, like concealer does crease under your eyes. I don't know how to stop it. I don't know if you know already, but we're going to New Zealand at the end of this month. Going to New Zealand. I'm so excited. So today's Wednesday. We're going back home next week on Monday. So we've got the rest of the week in Sydney. I'm very excited. If you don't know, Jazz and I really want to move to Sydney because there's like a lot more opportunities here. I've met someone here. Um, obviously that's not the reason like I wouldn't move for a guy but then again like kind of would I we haven't decided whereabouts in Sydney but we kind of want to live like not in the city but a little bit out of the city I still want to live in the UK for a period of my life but that period is not right now we're just about to leave the house it is 11 31 we're a minute late this is the outfit it's really good these pants are so comfortable they're from white box and then also this top is from this clothing store in Sydney called zoo clothing before we go to this event we just stopped at the servo to get like a little snack because we don't want to go in there like we haven't had breakfast yet jazz is looking at the energy drinks but we said we weren't going to have one today that'll do this is the last oh, energy drink to... oh no my energy drink i dropped it Shoot. it's okay no i reckon it's fine no no way you reckon no she's all right what cheers Remember Randall? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I remember Randall. Randall had the best dashboard. just made it home it's literally almost 7 p.m such a cool event like yeah. we left i didn't think we showed you the goodie bags like we have to show you the oh, fucking so good, the goodie bags i know they're really complicated like, it was heavy we're going to quickly show you what's in this big bag sephora house of sephora if you don't want to watch this obviously just skip past but guys this is our goodie bag what? this is our goodie bag i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you like for being here you. like yeah. we wouldn't be have this like we do not take this for granted at all first product okay we got esme skin minerals thirsty skin plumping sheet mask this is the brand Murad Hydration Cellular Hydration Repair Mask. We have a product from Nude Sticks. It's for your lips. Oh, and they're different colors. So oh, no. You can put it on your eyes, eyes. too. You put your eyes. Tarte. Yeah, it's a tart eyeshadow Get palette. Out. No, wait, look, Get how, out. look how pretty it is. Whoa. Isn't it beautiful? It's got the cream, bronzers, and blushes at the bottom, and then you've got the eyeshadow. Skin Fix Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. What is that? Oh, it's a moisturizer and then an activating serum. We have a tinted lip oil from the brand Ever Eden. Oh, I know. Oh my god, I thought it was a vibrator. <laughs> oh, oh, the lip oil. Mmm. Yeah, it smells like lollies. This one's very random. It's called Arousal Serum, stimulating peppermint and cinnamon. And it's plant based. Yep, so you so put it on your ooha. 
Get put it on your little off. thing and then it goes all cold. Uh, uh, apparently. Li- Ooh. Another Alpha H product. I love Alpha H. Same. Okay, I'm actually so excited about this brand. <laughs> Urban Jungle, the body wash and the moisturizer. I'm really excited because they threw in here heaps of perfumes. So this is the first perfume presented beautifully. This one is the Mason Louise Marie. Mm. I really like that. The, it's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Fresh. We have an Ultra Restore Firming Body Serum from Coppery. Smells really good. I love the packaging of this. It's the On The Glow Blush from Pixie by Petra. Petra. We have a lip balm from Sun Skills Berry and it's got SPF in it as well. People rave about this product. It's an SPF. Look at the packaging. Mm. SPF like, for face. Yeah. If I had to pick the thing that smells the best in this whole packet, this. Jazz is obsessed. I'm obsessed with the smell of this. It's a hair mask. Can't explain it. Gosh. Yeah. Almost like caramelly. No. I oh my god, that smells so that. good. I wish yeah. it was a moisturizer. Like I the brand is Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. Bronze Glow Drops from First Aid Beauty. You guys heard of First Aid Beauty? It's really cool. But these are bronzing drops. I'm very excited about this. It's a moisturizer. Peter Thomas Roth and it's Ultimate Solution 5. So it's five in one treatment. Firms, brightens, exfoliates, moisturizes, and soothes. Okay, I can't pronounce that. Latalia Perfume. <laughs> This is a perfume that I think like a mum would like. Like it's very dark, heavy. Oh, it's woody. That's what it is. I fell in love with this brand. I was talking to them and they're just telling me all this amazing stuff about this brand. It's oh, called well. LYS and it stands for Love Yourself Beauty. Cruelty free and it's gluten free. Like I don't know, makeup had gluten in it. Wow. And it's clean. But this one is the setting mist, which you can already get the in Sephora. Is it? Yeah, look at this. So that's what it looks like. Oh my God, I yeah. love it. This is a deodorant called Salt and Stone. We have a gift from Rare Beauty, Brow Harmony Flexible Lifting Gel. Another perfume by Rosie Jane. It's a new scent called Missy. This literally smells like a resort, like a holiday. I love it. Same. I really do. I've never heard of this brand. It's Fresh Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Eye Cream. Makeup by Mario. Recently been obsessed with makeup by Mario. Another perfume. This one's really nice. It's called Amber Vanilla. I can smell the vanilla and then I can also smell flowers. It's very popular already. Like girls, all the girls love it. Ultraviolet SPF 50 Lip Balm. Brow Stretch Styling oh, Soap. Okay. Styling Soap. And look, it comes in this little tin. Wait, that's sick. No, it's there. Oh my god, it's like see-through. Yeah, look. The Inkey List Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. Virtue Recovery Damage Reverse Serum. This is OA, which is a hair gloss. New product, so you put it in when your hair's damp, and then when it dries, it goes glossy. Oh my god, what a beauty lip gloss. Dr. Naomi. I've heard of this brand. Mm. Bright Power Vitamin C Serum to Brighten and Firm. We have a Sephora Gentle Peeling Serum. Okay, I'm nervous to try that because it says peeling in it. Bang and Body Ooh. Lip and Cheek Gloss Balm. A different product. A cheek and your lips. This is a beautiful product. It's an oil, but it's not very oily. But it's like a beautiful product to put on like your decolletage. Don't get clubbing. Arms, bit shimmery. Like sh- shimmery. We have a neutral eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. Eye treatment. Another eye treatment from Mirad. Last product. Sephora Color Shifter Strange Botanicals. All right, we're going to have some dinner now. Dad's cooked us up a feast. Chicken, hash brown, and a salad. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> We got salad, chicken, hash browns. Looks so good, Dad. They're Thank bit, you. They're a bit mashy. That's What's good. Mashy or mashy? A bit of salt. Do a little bit of barbecue sauce on the hash brown. Bit of ranch. Mm-hmm. Yum. Salt, pepper. Got it. Thanks. Yum. Saucies. That's enough. Knife and fork. Yeah, for now. Ready? Mmm. Nice. Yeah. We've woken up at 10 o'clock. It's now 11.27. And we have this house to ourselves because everyone's at work. We actually had an event tonight, but um, we pulled out. You know, you gotta look after your mental health. We're feeling quite tired. I've actually woken up with a bit of a scratchy throat, but mm. like, I know I'm not getting sick. It's just because I've been in a lot of rundown and stress. That's why we're like, oh, we're, we're gonna pull out and just like call our family because we've been really, really bad. Like I haven't called mom in ages. This is your reminder to contact your family Show them some love. So even just like a quick call, a message saying, thinking of you, hope you're doing well. Cause family is so important. I'll be honest. I'm the type of person that like when I have a friend and I don't contact them for like six months or they don't contact me for six months. And then randomly we like send a message. I'm like, like we've been talking every single week. We don't have to hang out for six months. I can hang out and be like, you're still my bestie. Yeah, like sometimes you know what? They're like, oh yeah, let's go out. And I'm like, you know what? My bed and book sounds so good. And then like you agree to it. And like, I'm so excited to go out. And then day and then comes I'm- and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to leave the house. When things get cancelled or I cancel things, it just gives me this sense of happiness. Yeah. 
Like things getting cancelled. I don't know. I've always been like this. I don't know why I'm like this. Jazz and I haven't been to the gym in ages. It's probably been about a week. Um, and we always feel so good after going to the gym. So we're trying to get back into it. We're going to do a little gym workout. And it's... Leg day. Leg day, is it? At 1.30. I love legs. I, I don't like doing arms. I'm doing arms. I feel so weak. And I feel like when I'm doing reps, doing arm reps, I just get weaker as the set goes on. Where legs are, they get stronger. stronger. Right. I got this gym activewear crop top. I don't know what to call it. Um, from Elite 11. And just, I love it. Can you show? My new activewear crop top from Elite 11. Oh, I love the style. Back. Is there pimples all over it? Um, there's a pimple there. Is it really like... It's not bad though. Just leave it. Get infected if you pop it. Yeah. Good morning. It's 8.39. It's quite early because I'm seeing him today for the last time. Going back to Brisbane next week. I'm pretty sure this is the last time because we're going back to Brisbane on Tuesday. Today's Friday. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm so honest on YouTube. Like, I love you guys. Um, I have a UTI. I haven't had a UTI in ages. Um, you know, if you're sexually active, make sure you're peeing after. And of course, I don't know if I'm going to leave this in. If you don't know what a UTI is, it's a urinary tract infection and it like burns your pee hole. It's not fun. This battery is running out and I want to vlog in the bathroom. So I'm really annoyed. I'm going to go change the battery. Jazz is still in bed. Let me show you. I would be still in bed too, but I'm getting ready to see him. Also, if you haven't watched all our previous videos, like you would have no idea where we are. Right now we're at our dad's, he lives in Sydney. Every time we come to Sydney, we stay at his. Anyway, this is the bathroom, it's quite lovely, isn't it? This guy that I'm seeing prefers my hair curly. And that just makes me really happy because my hair's naturally curly. So I'm gonna have a shower and make this hair curly. I'm gonna try two new products that I haven't tried before. Actually, I think I've tried Way because I went to the hairdressers and they, I'm pretty sure they put this in my hair and it looks so good. Like my hair looked amazing after the hairdressers. Hair gloss, this is a new product launching in Sephora. Oh my god, this smells incredible. Like it literally smells like a perfume, which is probably, is that good? I actually don't care, like I love my hair smelling good. Oh, it's a leave-in for like five minutes. Oh, okay, because I want to try this product, but I'm like, can I try both products? This one's Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I showed you this in the haul, and then this is Jazz's favorite smell, but I want to put my hair mask in. Oh, nah, this is, she's right. It's probably the bottom of her smell as well. He's gonna be here in about 30 minutes, it's 12.44. Um, this is how the hair turned out with those new products. Um, this is the outfit. Baggy jeans from Glue, halter neck top. Can't remember where it comes from to be honest with I put this top underneath it because without it, I get paranoid with the nip slips. I always get so nervous before seeing him. Like I've literally already seen him twice. Um, but he hasn't driven here before. Like he offered to drive to pick me up, which is really nice. I'll let you know how it goes. Might get some footage. We'll see. Amy Cam's back. I'm taking Jazz out tonight. Renee's gone on a little cute date. Jazz is coming with me. I actually got invited by the place we're going to. They gave me free tickets. And I just have to post about it on my Instagram. It's like drag, queer, LGBT, silks. There's like people dancing with fire. There's a little strip show. It's a lot, <laughs> but I'm really excited to go see it. And we're going out for dinner. <gasps> oh, wow. What do you think? You look so nice. Amy's boots, white box. Steve Madden? Yep. Doc Martens. They are factory. Oh my gosh. I forgot about that face. This is a brand. I love a brand. This is Glassens, bras and things. And as you can see, I'm back to curly hair. It's been two weeks. We're actually driving, so we're not going to get drunk. Jazz is driving. <laughs> I tried this one. I tried to do this dancing one. Not really. It really work very well, but it's fine, right? <laughs> If you don't post that, I will post it. It's just like I, I really struggle with like music TikTok. No, but like that I, was good. I, by the way, happy International Women's Day. I would think of no better person than spending it with my sister. Aww. Happy International Women's Day. <laughs> our ETA is one minute before our dinner reservation, but that's fine. Music, music. Oh my god, this show. Honestly, 
that was the best show they've ever watched. Like I did, I was so sad when it ended. They're like, we're rounding it up at the end, and I'm like, no, no way, that was so quick. But it was wasn't. How it long was did it go for? Two hours. It was so good. Like the level of athleticism, and then the campiness and the fun. There was also some oh. nudity, which I did. There was expect. also there was a lot <laughs> of stripping. <laughs> there was no covering either. There was no covering. It was out. So please support local queer art, or just local artists and local shows because they're most of the time individually funded. We are home. Look at all of the bottles of water that Jazz bought. Yeah. Magnitude 3.6 earthquake has shaken Sydney's southwest. The quake hit the Blue Mountains region at about 8.53 p.m. local time. Dad felt an earthquake. Like Dad was here when it happened. Dad was saying that it was like, the house was like. Was it scary? No. <laughs> no? It was too. Dad, it was a literal earthquake. In Australia, we don't really get earthquakes. Yeah. Is it like a vibration or is it like movie? Moving, moving vibration. Moving vibration. Oh. Wow, I can't imagine. Oh, wow. That's, That's so weird. scary. Like the floor shaking beneath you and yeah. that would be weird. The women have shaken the earth. This is literally from sleeping in that bunk bed. Oh! Oh my god, I told you! She's a warrior. So that is why bunk beds are for kids, not for adults. <laughs> I'm so gross. So it's actually three days later. Today's Monday and it's night time and it is currently 10.44 and I still haven't showered. So that's that. Jazz and I are going on a road trip tomorrow. We're heading back to Brisbane and I'm really sad. I love the city so much, but we're going to be back. We'll probably be back in like April, honestly. This is what's going on. Like this is such a mess. I've got to put all that in my suitcase. This is the room. I've got to get this all together, have a shower and then go to bed, wake up early. I need to get a little update on the date that I went on. I came back today, guys. Like literally, um, it was supposed to be one night. And then every time I'm with him, I'm like, I'd never want to leave. We wake up the next morning and then we've got to check out and I'm like, I don't want to check out. So I like call reception and go, can I extend and book another night? But it was really fun. We spent three days together. We didn't really do much because oh guys, the first night I saw him and I had dinner planned, like going out to a really fancy restaurant. We were going to do putt putt golf, like really cute date. And like I got ready and I went to the toilet and then my UTI symptoms got really bad and cold sweats. I was in so much pain. So we didn't end up going out, which was really annoying, but he was really supportive. He was really cute actually. He was really worried about me. Like it was that bad. I was like, oh my God, do I have to go to the hospital? And I feel like I'm actually pretty good with pain. Like I've got a pretty high pain tolerance, but when it comes to UTI, we're kind of calling each other boyfriend, girlfriend. We've only been on three dates. So I don't really want to like be like, oh, this is my boyfriend. Like, you know, I haven't really met his family. He hasn't met any of my family. He hasn't even met my sister, but we know that we like each other and we're kind of calling us a boyfriend, girlfriend. When people ask for an update, like the update, like, is he your boyfriend? It's like, I don't know. Like, I don't really want to publicize that stuff yet. So they, um, this is kind of what's going on. I'm only telling you. I'm very honest on YouTube, but this is what's going on with him. That's a bit of an update. So anyways, well, we're going to start a new weekly vlog tomorrow. I think, yeah, we're going on a road trip tomorrow back home. We're going to end this one here. We love you guys. We'll see you in our next weekly vlog. Yep. Bye. Bye.